Happy Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas, everyone. This is now the final, final clip, uh, or this is now where I wrap up this whole month. Um, it is Christmas Eve and we are uh, freshly out of sauna and um, I will do my final clip and then we will silence into the Christmas Eve and uh, yeah. It has been a fun ride. I had so many things that I wanted to say and I don't know if I remember everything because I didn't make notes. <laughs> but um, you've seen some clips from yesterday. Uh, we prepared Christmas. I didn't have time to knit. I didn't have time to film like a talking clip. But I wanted to show you my whole advent calendar in its glory because I have now opened all of the all of the yarn. Maybe I'll just open this one. Here is everything that I had from start to finish. And this was today's color. Such a beautiful, beautiful pale blue with, with different shades of brown and all that. So I just want to give a little shout out to my friend Camilla, who is Cami Jonet, and she kindly gifted me this calendar, and I am over the moon because it has been it has been so fun opening up every day, and there has not been a single skein that I wouldn't like, and it's just so amazing to have a calendar like this. And the best part is, I opened the main skein today because in Finland we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. Uh, we opened the presents on Christmas Eve, so I opened my main skein today. And it's this glorious reddish orangey, um, variegated, beautiful, beautiful skein of yarn. And I think it's so beautiful and I was so pleased to see that it leans towards orange which is you know one of my favorite colors ever so um yeah I'm I'm over the moon about this calendar and I totally would have ha would have paid uh, for this calendar with my own money even though Camilla so kindly gifted me this calendar but I definitely adored it a lot I also opened my advent calendar from uh, uh, Knits by Cindy Ekman and I actually already lost the stitch markers but you already saw them in the video and I got this beautiful project bag which is this uh, gingham fabric and the quality is just superb and this is beautiful beautiful bag with the handle and such a great size. It has a big bo box bottom, so it it's fit it fits a calendar, not calendar. It fits like a shawl or a sock project or something a little bit smaller, and even a t-shirt. Um, yeah, those were all the packages that I opened, and my kids are very very excited about uh, today because you know today <laughs> all the magic happens. Um, it is now 10.30, 11, 10.30, and the day has, uh, or this is the amount of daylight that we get. I will take a little clip after I film so you can see. And um, we ended up doing a lot of preparations for the food yesterday, but I just wanted to say that um, I think, I don't know, in other countries but in Finland it's it's you know everyone is making this big deep lean for Christmas and I just wanted to say that Christmas comes whether the house is spotless or not ours is not because we've been busy and we just focused on good food uh, preparing the foods that we love and like we maintain like a level of clean cleanliness, but uh, we just have the the robot vacuum and we haven't 
we haven't been um, making the house spotless because life with young kids is is like that and I don't want to stress about stress about that and I just wanted to say that by dimming the lights and spending days with your loved ones if you can um, that's what is important to me not if I have scrubbed all the toilets and and um, yeah so in our household we didn't do a deep clean for Christmas and there are spots in the cabinets and there are <laughs> life shows everywhere but I don't care and I hope that you would feel free to not you know feel pressure about seeing all the beautiful Instagram homes with all the fabulous um, dust-free tables and beautiful decorations. I think in my family, my mother-in-law comes for Christmas dinner and spent with us and there won't be beautiful china, there won't be there won't be silver <laughs> silver tableware and it's just going to be the main focus is going to be good food and just enjoying the company of each other and uh, that's okay last christmas we just ate the fish straight from the um, plastic containers and because you know kids are excited uh, to open the gifts we do that after dinner so it was just easier to put the lids back on and shove them in the fridge and then enjoy enjoy the gift giving so i think we're gonna do the same this this uh christmas dinner that we are not going to put everything into beautiful beautiful um dishes because yeah the kids won't mind and i don't care so i just wanted to <laughs> state that it's it's as good of a Christmas or holiday whether you have your best uh, dishes out and everything is in beautiful, beautiful things. I don't, I don't say that you shouldn't do if that makes you happy, but I think for us it works the best if we just, if we just do what is easiest. And um, I think the food, for me at least, the food is the most important thing. Once more, I'm gonna show my socks. Um, you saw me working on the toes and I still haven't finished them quite. Um, I'm making the star toe or the round toe. And the way I do this kind of a toe is, um, I will put it here because it has been asked how I do it. So I will just put it here. And also know that I have linked uh, the project page for these socks uh, down in the description. If rubbery is uh, accessible for you, then you can have a look at there. But basically these socks are made with 64 stitches. So uh, when I changed color, I did re three rounds of, of the new color so that it doesn't distort the, you know, if you start decreasing too early, the last stripe won't be even and it starts to be all wonky. So, um, knit six, knit two together around the whole or repeating <laughs> throughout the whole sock and then six rounds of stocking net. So knit six, knit two together and then six uh, plain rounds and then knit five, knit two together, knit five rounds, knit four, knit two together, knit four rounds and so forth. Um, I did run out of yarn. <laughs> I don't know, you probably may be able to tell. I have now striped the last bit. I had very similar color, which is a little bit more blue. I think it's close, very close. Uh, but I ended up um, omitting a few of the between rounds in the very toe. So after I did uh, knit four, knit, knit four, knit two together, I only did, excuse me, I only did three rounds and then knit two, 
knit two knit two together I did one round so uh, so that I won't run out of this yarn as well so it is a little bit uh, quicker uh, ending for these so now what I'm gonna do uh, we are going to my parents uh, at noon we are going to eat rice porridge at my parents and um, my sister is going to be there also with uh, her kids and my brother came yesterday from Turku which is um, it's far away from here it's five hour drive so they came yesterday so we are all all together for Christmas porridge which is our lunch and then we have uh, we are going to the cemetery bringing some candles and remembering our our um, past loved ones and then we are gonna come home and we are going to prepare uh, what's left for the dinner and then we are eating with my mother-in-law and then the kids get their presents and we uh, we will spend the evening opening up presents and the kids probably will just enjoy their gifts and I think me and my husband are just going to veg on the couch and uh, eat chocolate and drink some um, glug, which is the, the malt wine. And um, yeah, that's what's happening here. Now someone is screaming. The kids have been constantly arguing with each other today. I think they have ants in their pants because it's the exciting day. And um, I just wanted to show you where did I put it? I brought it here. My Christmas cast on. Oh, it's on the, yeah, it's here. So my Christmas Eve cast on will be socks for myself. I probably have mentioned that I'm planning on making a box of socks for myself next year. Uh, so 12 new pairs for me. Uh, this year I did a few pairs for me, but I I did so many other so many pairs for other people, and this is a special skein that I get got from my uh, friend Rebecca. We did a little yarn swap. Uh, this is Nervous Viper, and these little minis are from. Dina's Home of Crafts, and they are beautiful, variegated yarns. So I'm making stripy socks with white stripes with this and these two minis. And these are a gift from a friend, so it's a special um, way to remember your friend as well as making socks for yourself. So I will wind these up and I think it will be evening when, when I get to start. The sweater that I was hoping to finish, I didn't need a stitch yesterday to to make that happen. Uh, I was just working on the socks and I really wanted to wear them today. So that was more important. And yesterday went by so quickly. My husband was baking bread, making his sourdough and um, I brought it to friends as well. And yeah, the day just went by so quickly. We had a lot of preparations to do and uh, today we're just going to enjoy most of it so you've you've seen my husband going to his run this morning they always do this um, elf <laughs> run so he's part of a club and they they uh, every Christmas Eve they are doing this morning run um, so he he runs with them twice a week every week and this is a special thing that they do. So they were mostly wearing Santa hats and I think they were a sight because there was something like, I don't know, 30, 40 people running. So that's fun. Anyway, I just want to thank you so, so, so much. Uh, it has been a pleasure to make these videos and it has been so amazing to connect with you. I've enjoyed hearing your little stories and interacting with you in the comments. It has really made this this little vlogmas trial uh, worth, worth it for me and I'm definitely doing this again next year. So thank you for being there and, and, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you so much. Bye. Now 
it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer they're all fine But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come Yeah, let it come Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call. They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the halls i've been kind to big and small and now it's time to have a merry holiday what a feeling when it's time for christmas let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here 